Our executive summary report builder is exactly that, a full-blown builder. You can customize every element of this report right down to where you want the page breaks in your PDF. All of this, of course, can be saved as a template and reused for any number of executive summary reports being sent out to your customers. There is no limit to how many templates you can store. This is what a template looks like. Templates are derived from two types of blocks. Visual summary blocks, like the one you see here, and text summary blocks, like these. Each block type fits into what we call sections. Sections can house up to three blocks horizontally, and you can have as many rows of blocks within the same section as you like. Sections can be renamed simply by changing the text that appears above them. They can easily be reordered by using the drag icon here. You can delete entire sections by using this red X here. Entirely new sections can be added to the report by selecting them from this dropdown. You are free to add more than one of the same section type, too. For instance, if you wanted to have multiple visual summary sections, you're free to do so. When you add a new text or visual summary section, you'll find your first block waiting to be customized. Clicking the block will begin that process. The first thing you'll define is what module you'd like to report from. For this block, let's choose Alerts Resolved. Once you've selected a module, you can then define the time period you want to display data from. For maximum flexibility, every applicable block can house a different period, and you can even define multiple blocks from the same module, but different periods, to showcase trends. Next, we'll select which alert we'd like to report on. Once saved, the block will immediately display some sample data so you can see what the output will look like. Different modules have different settings you can customize. For instance, here we're looking at the unsupported operating system module. This module can be set to display values as a percentage or as a total quantity. You can even define which operating systems you want to flag as unsupported, though we've marked the most obvious choices for you by default. Text summary blocks allow the same level of customizability. For instance, this is the Asset Health Summary module where you can showcase underpowered or unsupported assets. You can even define the metrics used to determine what assets are underpowered, unsupported, or potentially problematic. Then you can further define which of these metrics will show up within the block. Here we'll choose to showcase devices with low storage, as well as assets running on an unsupported operating system. Now if you'd like to remove a block, that's as simple as clicking the X button here. You can also repurpose a block, meaning you can change its module and settings using the edit icon here. Additionally, there are two other types of report elements you can add into your templates. The first is the static content element. This allows you to add a custom header and custom text anywhere within the report you like. Like all of our element types, you are free to add as many of these as needed to your template. These are great for explaining sections or groups of sections to your customers in further detail, or adding text to highlight the severity of some severely outdated or underpowered assets, for example. Like all of our element types, these can be reordered anywhere you like on the template. The final element type is the page break. This will trigger a stop in the existing page of a PDF report, regardless of how much data is present. This allows you to determine the final look and feel of what data appears on your PDF on a case-by-case -case basis. Once your template is saved, running an executive summary report is as easy as selecting your customer, selecting the desired template, and running the report. So that's our new Executive Summary Report Builder, available starting today.